Hi guys, this is the Basic Gamer and I hope you guys are doing well and having a fabulous time. So today we are here once again with some more information about something you might not have known about. So you might have seen pots hanging around in the Elden Ring DLC and well if you didn't try breaking them, well you wouldn't know what they do. Yeah, well they drop bell bearings for uh, unlocking items. So you take the bell bearing to the Twin Maiden house at the round table hold and you will unlock items such as root resin, knot resin, string, uh, fly mold. These are the ones that I'm showing you in this video that I shall be showing you, but there are others as well, which you can look around and find. I just wanted to show you that this is one of the things that you might have missed out on in the DLC. So the first one you shall find, uh, you're gonna start off from the cliff road terminus side of grace so if you're starting off the dlc from the beginning you'll start from the grave side plain side of grace come through the scorch ruins touch the three path cross come through not like that like this touch the main gate cross side of grace and then make your way over here and there's going to be a path that's going to lead you through underneath the, this it's going to be a bit of a cave here and through the cliff road terminus that's where we're starting off from the other two well we shall I'll show you on the map and um, let you know where those are later. But we're going southwest from this side of grace. There will be some blood fiends. I did take them out, but you watch out when you come here. And oh yeah, we gotta equip ourselves mm, something that will, well, basically shoot them down. Yeah, break them actually. So there's gonna be Mr. Blood Fiend roaming around over here. I have, well, taken the liberty to take him out. So that's the part we're talking about, guys. So you, what you gotta do is, you gotta aim and look at that. Something falls down, what is it? It's the string seller's bell bearing. So you can get unlimited amount of strings from the Twin Maiden Huts at the round table hole once you take this bell bearing back to them now the second one is well we are gonna go all the way let's say starting off from the beginning graveside plain side grace scorch ruins three path cross you went this way but this time we're going this way castle front ruins this is a bit of a shortcut if you won't want to fight Rolana come through from this area duck, 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 duck. yeah unseal the jump spring around about here by knocking that's about here, I think. You knock the rocks over here and it'll unspring, um, it will well, undo or unlock the jump spring. And then you come to behind the fort, reprimand, and for the reprimand, you come through more highway, south side of grace, and then duck, 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 touch the more through inside of grace and then come down. It's gonna be a big hole in the ground. Make your way through, and then you're gonna come up into Bonnie or Bonnie Village. And from there, you're gonna come straight through and you're gonna touch the Recluses River downstream side of grace. This one is an easy one because um, it's right there. Yeah, you just gotta turn around and you're gonna see it hanging on the cliff. So this is the side of grace, right? And it's right there. See, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. What is this one gonna give us? Un hey. Oh my god, I didn't think of this. I think we'll have to go down to get it. How do we go down? How do we go down? Okay, we gotta make our way down. Wait a second. Okay, didn't think this through. Okay, we can go down from here. So let's just do that. So, that it's all done and dusted. Yeah, that wasn't us, that wasn't us. So, you come down like that, and here is the mold monger's bell bearing. How's that? Pretty good? Okay, now, will we be able to open our map? No, those damn dragonflies, or whatever enemy is behind us, is not letting us do the map. Okay, now, the third one, we're gonna come from, let's just go back to Recluse's River downstream side of grace. Oh, I should have gone straight to the side of grace. Anyway, 
I'll show you what you gotta do on the map. So from here, you're gonna come straight through, dug -dug -dug -dug, make your way through here, watch out for the furnace golem, and then you come to the church district, high road side of grace. And this is where the third one is. And like I said, there are a few more throughout the DLC. So whatever you see a pot, you know what to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's the side of grace, right? Right behind us. Okay. So we are going a bit of, uh, well, southeast. And then, see the furnace golem I was talking about? Just watch out for him. So I'll show you this one. And then rest you can find by ourselves. Just wanted to show you that this is one of the things that you can, well, do in the DLC to get your bell bearings. Get your bearings right. Yeah, okay, this one goes down too. Wolfies. Wolfies don't like us. Where do we collect it from? Oh my god, is that a... No, we were safe there. I was like, oh, we're gonna die. There it is. So this one apparently is one of the good ones. Reesemonger's Bell Bearing because it unlocks Rot Resin and Not Resin. So it really helps. Okay, I'm gonna run away now. So you can go back, take this stuff to the Twin Maiden Huts at the Round Table Hold and get your items and look out for other pots yeah, just smash them. And this is it for this one. Until next time, happy gaming. Take care and bye-bye.